Hey, Will. Should I go to recording school? Great question. I'm glad you asked. What's up, everybody? Will Borza here, the LA recordist, and this is the Analog Vlog. It's a vlog. Analog. First and foremost, there is no degree requirement for being an audio engineer. As such, the piece of paper on your wall means absolutely nothing to your potential employers. Your network gets you in the door, and your personality determines whether you're going to stay there or not. That being said, some people do learn best in a school setting. If this is you, go to audio school. On the other hand, others can learn the same concepts through books, video tutorials, and trial and error. If this is you, save the money and skip the school. There are pros and cons to going to audio school. Let's start with the pros. One, guaranteed access to world-class consoles, microphones, and other gear. Awesome. Two, most schools give you a laptop with Pro Tools and an audio interface to start you out. It's part of the tuition. Three, and most importantly, it gives you the opportunity to network with like-minded people. By the way, that's Panavision behind me. Now for the cons. One, crippling debt. Two, a job is never guaranteed. Three, after a year or two of school, you still start at the bottom of the intern pool, getting people coffee and cleaning the bathrooms. Hmm? Horrible editing? Oh yeah, and horrible edits. <laughs> comping, comping, comping for days. Lastly, number four, there is a stigma. And now for a career outlook courtesy of the United States Department of Labor. Over the next four years, that is from now until 2020, the number of audio jobs is to increase by 1%. This is not a good thing. The number of graduates that these recording schools are bringing out each year is far higher than that 1% increase over the next four years. Most of the major studios today are closing down but the home and project studios are exploding in popularity, especially if you can fulfill a niche. The average salary for a mid-career audio engineer in the United States of America is $40,000. Not a lot of money compared to a lot of the other industries out there. $40,000 isn't gonna get you very far. This is not a glamorous career. However, if you do get to work in film, that number goes up to about $75,000 on average for the nation. 45% of audio jobs are in California and New York, where the competition is the most fierce. If you're young and you're just getting into the game, you'll probably have more success in a smaller market. In Los Angeles, the average salary for an audio engineer is $74,000, whereas in Nashville, the average salary is about $30,000. Los Angeles has the most number of on-the-books audio engineers at 3,100. Nashville, on the other hand, has about 310. The number of registered full-time audio engineers in the United States of America is 14,000. That's not a lot. There are more members of the subreddit for audio engineering than there are registered audio engineers in the United States. What does this tell us? This simply tells us that the full-time audio engineer job in the traditional studio is a thing of the past. It's going away. The new future is small business recording. In conclusion, if you do decide you want to go to audio school, let me give you just a couple tips. Number one, fully research the school you're going to. Make sure that there's people accrediting it. For example, Dave Pensato says, go to the Blackbird Academy in Nashville. If Dave says so, I'm gonna believe it. Secondly, ask how the school is going to help get you jobs. Do they offer internship programs? Do they actually have studios in the neighborhood that they feed students into? Or are they just gonna give you the classified ads and an application to Starbucks. Another thing too is that typically audio school does not last all day. Most audio schools run about four hours of classes a day. That's one sixth of your day. You spend another two sixths of your day sleeping, which means that half of your day is open to do what you want. What do you want to do? You want to go out and you want to record. You want to go out and you want to find someone you can apprentice under. If you're going to go to audio school, make sure that that's not the only thing you do. Find a mentor, find bands, record them on your off hours. You have access to the studios there. That's what you're paying for, okay? If you go to audio school and all you do is audio school, you're not going to get a job. The absolute most important thing you can do, no matter what, whether you do audio school or you don't do audio school, network. Network, network, network. Everybody has to network. Period. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no like, 
There's no explanation of that. It's just network. Like, the way you're going to get into studios is through networking. The way that you're going to meet musicians is through networking. Bands is through networking. Television shows is through networking. If you don't have people skills, you're not going to get in the door. You're not going to get the phone call. Okay, you can be technical all you want, all day. You can know how to use a compressor perfectly. That does not get you gigs. Your personality and your connections get you gigs. So network. Network until your networks fall off. I... What? <laughs> I don't know. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked that. If you did, please subscribe. My name is Will Borza. I'm the LA Recordist. I make a video every day. This is my home studio. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.